Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 61. In this case, we're going to take a look at a patient that has dry wax at the outside and soft gooey wax on the inside. It sounds like one of those old candy commercials and I bet this doesn't taste nearly as good. You can see here that we're using the curette and it's going directly through that wax. It's not really building the large chunks around it and not letting me pull it out in a big piece. This type of an earwax removal gets a little bit challenging, especially when using manual tools because we can't get it all to stay together. So our plan is gonna to be to remove as much as we can from the outside and then if there's still some down by the eardrum, go ahead and use a little bit of irrigation just to remove that last little bit. Unfortunately for this video, I did not have a second set of hands to help with filming. So once I got to the irrigation point, you're just gonna see what came out afterwards rather than the actual irrigation process. I wanna take a minute to address one of the comments that was posted on one of my last videos. The comment basically stated, why have your hearing tested? Because hearing aids are so expensive. I think this is the complete wrong way to look at it. Yes, hearing aids are expensive, I understand that. However, just because you have your hearing tested doesn't mean that you need hearing aids yet. That may still be several years off, but ignoring the problem and putting your head in the sand is not going to make it any better. The real reason that we want you to have your hearing tested is because as your hearing changes, untreated hearing loss causes changes in the brain. The goal is to have good cognitive health. We want you to have a strong cognitive health, especially as we get older. We focus a lot in this channel about Healthy People 2030, a report put out that actually states that people 18 and over should be having their hearing tested at least once every five years. That's what came out of the ear. Every five years, even if you don't think there's a problem. Looking at the amount of redness in this patient's ear, we're gonna refer them to their primary care doctor just to make sure that there's no outer ear infection. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.